This is Actualize Freedom, straight talk on growing clicks and conversions on Amazon FBA from people doing it every day. Now here's your host, digital marketing acrobat, Danny Kenji Carlson. What's up, guys? Danny Carlson here with the Actualize Freedom podcast. And today we're going to be talking about a very interesting subject when it comes to growing your Amazon business, which is money. You need money to grow your Amazon business, right? Yeah. And there's so many funding options that are out there these days. There's a lot of different funding companies that are popping up. But um, these two guys that I have on here have a really interesting business that um, is very unique. I've never heard of this model for funding Amazon businesses before. And they don't really... And they have way less downside than a lot of the other companies. So it's very interesting. We're going to get into that in a little bit here. But first, I'd like to welcome to the podcast, Don and Rob from Accrue Me. How are you guys doing? Doing great, Danny. Thanks. Hey, yeah, thanks, Danny. Thanks for having us on. Awesome. So first thing I'd like to ask you guys about is what is kind of the landscape with Amazon businesses in 2021? And, and like, what are some of the clients that you're working with? What are some of their funding needs when it, when it comes to growing the Amazon business in 2021? Well, I'll, I'll jump in first, Rob. I, I can tell you firsthand talking to so many sellers recently, we're, we're swamped right now. And uh, everybody's going into 2021 looking for another big year, a bigger year than 2020. And so they're excited. They, they're, they left 2020 on, on an ups, upswing and they're jumping right into 2021, looking to uh, start some new products, looking to get the inventory. They almost all are complaining that they ran out of inventory at, at various points last year. And they don't want to do that again. They lost, too, they lost too many opportunities. So they're excited. They need the capital to grow. And we're helping them from as low as $10,000 to you know, all the way up. Right now, you know, roughly, truthfully, where our, our uh, niche is, is probably up to about two, 250 right now but down to 10,000, 10, which is fantastic. We love helping these people. Yeah, and that's per month, Danny. So people that are doing like 10,000 to 250,000 per month, uh, that's, that seems to be the sweet area that you know, we seem to be funding. But I'll tell you, ever since that we've gotten the word out that we got $100 million to invest in Amazon sellers, we are swamped right now. I mean, we have already heard that you know, 2021 should be a record year for e-commerce, especially for Amazon sellers. Uh, 2020 looked like it wasn't going to start so well, but it looked like it ended pretty well, at least for the e-commerce sellers or Amazon sellers. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the kind of funding that you're giving to, to brands, like what exactly is the criteria for a brand that you guys see that has the legs that's going to take off that's really going to make a good investment for you guys? You know, it's pretty simple. Uh, we are just looking at the inventory. And we built our own system to analyze the, the, the inventory and see how fast it will turn and wh how, what, what it will earn. And that's all we're looking at. We're not pulling credit reports. We're not looking at financial statements. Uh, we don't look far back, but we just look at the inventory to see what they're doing. If it's a new product, we wait for it to be profitable for two to three months before we'll give the money on the, two, on the new products. And that's basically yeah, it. No Go ahead, yeah, Rob. I'm, I'm just going to jump in with some of the like, kind of like minimum requirements, get them out of the way now. Good. So what we're looking for is for, you know, sellers that are doing about 10,000 uh, 10, to 250,000 a month in Amazon sales, FBA sellers that are selling in the U.S. marketplace. Just so you know, if you are outside the United States, but as long as you're selling on the U.S. market or Amazon USA, that is fine. Also, we will fund you. Uh, we need to be an LLC corporation or willing to become an LLC corporation uh, what am I missing, Don? I, I know I missed something. Oh boy. Um, six, six months, minimum of six, six months, months, profitable profitability. Business. Yep. Yep. So that, that's what we're looking. FBA right now is what we're mainly looking at. FBA sellers, FBM will be coming soon and we'll be growing from there the rest of the year, looking at a bunch of other options and other platforms. Yeah. Excellent. And then tell me about like some of these investments during 2020, because uh, I'd imagine some of them did really well. And then some of them really did not well, depending on what the category was. So, so tell me how that went for you guys. Well, it was interesting because earlier in the year, you know, we had some sellers that had great product that were really making a lot of money. And then all of a sudden they weren't able to send product in and they went from making a, you know, a ton of money to literally breaking even and losing money. 
And like one of the guys came to me personally and said, if I had to make payments right now, I'd be out of business. He was so thrilled that we weren't, you know, looking for payments. Uh, and they were all concerned, like, what would we do? We, we, would we, you know, call our money in, you know, and things like that? No, this is a business transaction. We want you to succeed. We've been in business our whole careers. We've built and sold businesses left and right. You know, we understand, you know, when things go wrong, when things go right. So we, we, we you know, deal with those, those times when things are not going great and we grow. And that's exactly what happened with all of them. And we had others that just kicked ass, you know, growing uh, revenues by sixfold, growing profit by eightfold in one year. Fantastic. It's exciting. Yeah. And, and to just kind of put a little bit of what Don said into context. So AccruMe is a growth capital. We are, we are looking to help you grow. So we do, not, we do not require any monthly payments. There's no interest, no personal guarantees. We're not taking a portion or asking for a portion of your business. So it's it, think uh, profit sharing, Danny. This is more like a profit sharing, right? Yeah. If the if the seller does better, we do better. If the seller doesn't do so well, we don't do so well. So there, and we'll get into some scenarios a little bit later here on you know kind of how it works and what kind of sets us apart. But uh, just keep that in mind as we're kind of going through some of this. Yeah, and I know a lot of uh, a lot of heads are turning right now when you hear. <laughs> that, um, you know, it sounds like pretty attractive terms. So give me an example of, you know, what one of these structured deals would look like. Yeah, it, I'll, I'll go ahead. Sure, go ahead, uh, Rob. I'll, I'll take it over, Don. So, so one of the things that, let, let's just give you a great example, right? Uh, let, you're an Amazon FBA seller. You've been doing business for, you know, over six months. You come to us, you fill out a three-minute form on our website, and we'll instantly give you a number on what we're going, what we could fund you for, of course, we'll get a hold of you and kind of go over it just case because there's sometimes we might fund it for more. Maybe there's something on the paperwork wasn't right. So a three minute, three minute form on our website. Uh, fill that out. We'll get a hold of you. Let's say let's just go with a hundred thousand, Danny. Let's say you have a hundred thousand capital. Hundred thousand is either a little bit of cash in the bank and some money in inventory and Amazon FBA. And uh, we say, okay, you have a hundred thousand in capital. And we're going to go ahead and improve you up to $100,000. Okay. So now you have 200,000 total of capital in your company after we fund you. So at that point, we're, we're kind of a 50, 50 partner. Okay. We have 50% by having hundred thousand, you have 50% by having the other hundred thousand in capital. And what we would ask for, and this is how it works. If what we would ask for, it's always half of what we represent. So if you took the full hundred thousand dollars, we represent 50%. We would ask for 25% of the net profits. Now, before everybody asks, let's go over net profits. Net profits being after cost of goods sold, after the Amazon fees, after PPC. So that's what we would ask for. And, and just to redo that scenario slightly, if you had 100,000 uh, in capital and we gave you up to 100,000, but you decided to only take say 50,000, 50,000 would represent about 33% of your company. So in that case, we'd ask for about 16.5 of the net profits. So that's putting it in real basic terms. Uh, there's some cool stuff regarding you being able to not pay us and roll that money that I'd be happy to get into in a little bit. And plus that changes every month. Yes. So you're not locked into it forever. If you're making more money and doing great, which you will be, and you're going you're gonna to make more money than us, so our profit percentage naturally, just organically declines over time. As your pie gets bigger and bigger and bigger, we go down, which is great. But you can always take more money at any time. Yeah, very, very interesting model. So really, it's, it's totally tied to how much money you're giving to the business proportional to how much, how much cash that business is bringing in every month. Danny, you got it nailed. Yep, absolutely. That's a very interesting model. Very interesting. Um, so you guys, so, you guys have been scaling very fast. Yeah. Right so now, wait, right? like, let's go, let's let's go back to that for a second because it's interesting, and and I, I know you'll appreciate this. We set it up that way so that the seller can't lose. So if we were if in that scenario that Rob went over, the seller can't lose. You know, if we at the highest we will go is 50-50, meaning we get twenty five percent of the profit for that month, and the seller gets seventy five percent. They can't lose. There's only one way that they can lose is if they take our money and leave it in the bank, then they're paying us for no good reason. They're not, they're not growing. So that's why, like Rob said, we're here for growth. We're here to help sellers and to support sellers in growth. 
if they want to just, you know, need working capital, to, you know, go month to month or week to week, that's really not us. There are plenty of options out there for that. So go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, there's, there's plenty of options that can go take, you know, 30, 40 percent APR and just, uh, you know, be kind of loan shark style. So I think people are people are definitely looking for other options, which I think is a big reason why you guys have been able to scale so quickly. So like how yeah. many how many investments are you making on an average month? Like how many how many um, sellers are you really able to invest with? You know, we, we haven't announced those numbers yet because we're pretty new. You know, we're only doing this for two years. The first year, all we did was we went out, we had no system and we had no underwriting criteria. And we literally went out to a dozen sellers and gave them money. And we said, we're going to go into this and we're going to know we're going to lose money, but we're going to learn. We're going to figure this stuff out. I'm a firm believer in when you're starting a business, start stupid. You'll never know everything. Just go and do it and figure it out. And that's what we did. So we went in and we didn't lose any money and we helped sellers grow. And most of those sellers are still clients to this day, which is fantastic. So now we're only really starting to scale over the last you know, four months or so uh, since we got the hundred million and built our system. And now we're just ready. Now we're trying to get the word out there. We're, we're going gangbusters. And truthfully, the big reason that Rob is uh, uh, very modest, but Rob joined us as our CMO just less than two months ago. And uh, as a result of that, we're seeing a large influx of, of applications and great sellers and that they're coming to the table now already knowing everything about us because of doing podcasts like this with you. They understand what we're doing. They do some reading and research on our site. They come to the table saying, I, they already know all the answers. So it's been, it's been a good experience, man. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. Danny, just to take this a step forward. So just to under, so everybody understands, like I gave that scenario, the hundred thousand, the hundred thousand. So at the, let's say after three months, you, you go ahead and you've, uh, you know, sold all your products. I mean, obviously people are going to order before they run out, but just using a basic scenario of, of how this works. Once you've sold that, all that product, you have the, the couple hundred thousand back your original investment, right? Plus you have a profit. Now, just so people understand, at the end of that three months, there's that profit. We don't come along and say, we'll take our percentage, see you later, you're out of here, you know, and, and give us our money. You have the option to turn around and say, I want to take that full 200,000 plus the profits and roll that into more inventory and keep it going and keep building this up. And you're able to just keep building and building without paying us a dime, without making a monthly payment. And that's where I see that we really differentiate ourselves. Most of these other ones are kind of, I hate to say, but they're like a bank loan slightly, right? They're, they're going to require a monthly payment. They're going to require some interest. That means each month your profit's taking a chunk out of it, a little, a chunk, a chunk, a chunk each time every month to pay them where we're letting you take the entire amount and buy more inventory with it. That's how you grow a business, as you know, Danny. Yeah, and well, that's very interesting. So in that scenario, is that essentially just deferring whatever would have been the the monthly payment and just deferring it into the future when there would be a larger amount of profit coming in? Yeah, yeah. So basically we are, uh, it's the profit share that we earn for that month gets accrued, if you will, right? That's where the name comes from, accrue me. So if you want to give us the profit share that month, we're happy with that. We love it. Uh, if you wanted to accrue and go to the next month and the next month and the next month, keep going. So typically what's happening is that when you're growing, you're not going to want to make a payment. So think of Q3 and Q4. You're not going to want to take money out of your business to send it to somebody else. You're going to want to keep growing. But Q1, Q2, most sellers are pretty flush with cash. And at that point, instead of letting money sit in the bank, our guys are sending us chunk, chunks of money at that point in time. And then come June and July and August, they start taking more money down and building again. And now they're in the growth mode. So they have always have the money available to them to grow. And so that they pay us when it's right for them and right for their business, not when we want it. And we also have some clients that are looking to sell their business. And you know they're going to sell in a year, year and a half. They're not going to make any payments because they are in total growth mode. It's a different mentality. They, it's like a, 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 a switch got flipped and they are going growth, 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 growth. And in a year, year and a half, two years when they sell, all they're going to do is give us our capital back and our accrued profits. They keep 
everything, the total upside. We have no, no ownership in the business at all. Yeah, it's actually to their benefit, Danny, to roll to keep rolling that money. Because as Don was explaining earlier, our percentage goes down the more they they keep rolling it. Because think about it, at the end of that profit, right, or that two hundred thousand dollars scenario, let's just say it's like thirty thousand dollars, right? So thirty thousand dollars, we we would get twenty five percent of that, and I'm not saying we, meaning we have twenty five percent of that, but you have seventy five percent. So if you take that full amount and roll it it actually pushes our percentage down. So it's actually beneficial to keep rolling that money. No, it makes a lot of sense. And uh, I understand why you guys are called a crew me now. It, there um, you go. <laughs> it, makes, it makes a lot of sense with what you guys are doing. Um, and so do you guys also have any kind of mentorship or any anything else attached to the money that you're giving? Or are you really just giving the money and just like not checking in on them being like, okay, like send us uh, the financial statements uh, each month and, uh, and we're good. You know, um, <clears throat> if you check out my background and I encourage anybody to go to LinkedIn and check out my background on, you know, Donald Hennig, I have a tremendous background in business and finance. Uh, Robbie's got a tremendous e-commerce e background, uh, built and sold multiple companies. Our partner, Eric, is a lawyer, uh, Wharton grad, Wharton business school grad, you know, smart people. We all have different backgrounds. Eric has, you know, built and sold in uh, multiple companies, many companies. Um, so we are always there to help, not only just help them with business ideas and, and specific issues that they may have in their business, but also to, you know, brainstorm things that they go through, uh, you know, help them grow their business in various ways. Even to the point, Danny, truthfully, because this is the fun part of life and, and business is, you know, <clears throat> have two clients that, that left. One was a doctor and uh, his wife's also a doctor. And she started a new business that was very capital intensive. They needed every penny they could get. So they had to get out of the Amazon business. He did very well on Amazon, but this was the, a life change for them. They wanted me to look at their contracts, which we did. Uh, they were going for loans for themselves for this other business outside of the uh, Amazon. We helped them figure out what was the best for them. They're not even a client. You know, they're not old friends. They're friends through this. Another one, uh, he really just wasn't making money and we had to part ways, but in the nicest of ways. And this year at, at, at New Year's, I got a, the nicest message you could ever get from somebody for all the mentorship and help that, you know, he received over the past year. And we're going to be friends for a long, long, long time to come. And that's what it's all about. So, yeah, we do yeah. a lot more than just put money in, we'll double check products. We have Amazon experts on staff that will do research and double check things for them. Uh, you know, uh, Rob, anything to add to that? Yeah, just just so uh, people know, cause I know they see Don and I, right? Don and I are not the two running this. There is an entire team. Yeah. You know, obviously we have a lot of experience. We're, we're, between... just, we're just the good looking ones. The rest <laughs> of them, we wouldn't want them on team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, we have an amazing team behind us of financial people, accounting people. I mean, uh, Amazon people. I mean, guys with lawyers. Hair. Yeah, guys that have hair. I mean, those, yeah. those are way better than Don and I. So. <laughs> no, there, there's a there's a giant staff of very knowledgeable. I, I don't even think we've added up the amount of years of experience, but it would be pretty crazy. Let's put it that way. There is definitely a lot lot behind this company. We're not just like showing up on the scene, uh, you know, brand new type people. We, we've been around. Yeah, well, I mean, it's pretty hard to get $100 million in investor money if you don't have a really solid company behind it. So um. you, you want to hear the story? You want to hear the story, Danny? Let's hear yeah. it. All right. So we put this whole thing together. We test market it. We see that we have something that's really you know, valuable and important. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going out to visit our first hedge fund in New York City, uh, myself and my partner, Eric. And before we walk in, I said to him, do you know what 242 is? We're standing out on Broadway in Manhattan. And he said, no, what's 242? I said, 242 is the amount of pitches that Howard Schultz from Starbucks made before anybody put money into Starbucks. So we're not going in here to get money. We're going in here to get our ass kicked. They're going to ask us questions that we can't even think of. They're going to put spreadsheets together in three seconds that are going to make ours look like, you know, a baby did it. They're going to, you know, make us think about things that we never thought of. So what we're going in here for is to learn, 
hear the questions, hear the objections, re, you know, answer them as best we can, and hopefully get another appointment to come back in and you know, fix the holes that they spot. Or maybe they don't spot holes. Maybe we already have the answers, but you know, it, it takes time. So we come in and long story short, you know, a 20 minute goes to a two and a half hour meeting. And uh, we walk out and they ask us back. They call us the next day and ask us back. We come back. Long story short, over six weeks. So from the beginning to the end, six weeks later, they made an investment in the company and gave us $100 million to invest in, in sellers. Uh, on your first pitch. First pitch, man. One pitch wonder. One pitch, $100 million. Pretty good. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's good having <laughs> Don on our team, let me tell yeah. you. <laughs> you gotta have, you know, it's, it's fun, you know, and we went in with the right frame of mind as well. It was just a lot of fun and we are having a lot of fun. It's great. Yeah. Well, I can definitely see it in you guys' energy and really enjoy actually talking about it and really believe in the structure that you set up behind this business. And uh, I think it's very interesting for sure. Um, I'd like to ask you as well is, um, you know, what do you think is a good reason and what do you think is a bad reason for a seller to be taking capital on into their business. Like, you know, if you, if you're talking to a seller and it's pretty clear that they have not the best intentions with the money that they would be taking on, or just uh, are going to be spending it on something that you, you think is just not a good idea. Um, you know, what are some examples of a scenario like that? Well, well, typically, you know, within five minutes, if you want to work with this person or not, First off, I only want to work with people I like, you know, I, just bottom line, people have to be nice people and good people and, you know, looking to do good things. And I have to tell you, I have not met one. I haven't met a single one in this Amazon world yet. All right. We're still young, but we haven't met one yet. That was just a jerk. Every one of them has been, you know, great looking to grow, you know, building a business young, primarily, not all. Uh, and it's exciting. Uh, but sometimes they, they come in and they, they say, yeah, you know, uh, uh, I have this other loan over here with, you know, another company. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to bridge the gap with the money that I've already earned from Amazon. And, you know, they don't pay in two weeks. So I need it a little sooner. All right. They're not for us. You know, this, today I'm talking to a guy. He did last last year, 5.7 million private label, his own brands. He's been doing them for a number of years. He's number one in every category he's in, uh, knows his stuff. And, uh, you know, he's looking for money from us. And we explained everything to him. And he goes, you know, and I said to him, but you, you have more money than you need. Why do you need our money? He said, I just want to grow. I'm coming out of 2020. It was my best year yet. 2021 is going to 2021 is going to be amazing. I have multiple products I want to add and I need the capital. All right. This is a perfect partner for us. So, you know, that's the type of thing. Every once in a while, we see somebody that's, you know, taking a flyer on something, but it's, it's not too often. And typically, as I said earlier, we're not investing in a new product, you know, an unproven product, but we will invest in it. If, we're, or if we already have a relationship with you and the product is profitable for two to three months, we will invest in it because we want to support you. We want to support your growth. You're going to make those, that product successful you're going to do another one. You're going to take some money out to do that one. We're not going to put the investment into it. It's now successful for a few months. Boom. You're going to grow again. It's exciting. It's life-changing. Yeah. Rob, anything let me, to let add? Just, yeah. yeah. Just to add to that. So uh, Danny, we do get a lot of people that ask about using our, our money to launch new products and no, we don't help you. We're not going to take that risk and go with you on that new launch. But as Don said, if you can prove within a couple months that it is successful, we are more than happy to like put fuel on the fire and help accelerate it. Yeah. But a couple of ways what you can do to sort of uh, still on your own, try out new products, but still also do a deal with us is if you come in and then we go ahead and say, we're going to invest in your current product line. You've got a, a current product line doing really well. Let us come in there and help invest in that. So what you could do is if you're getting ready to, let's say, buy more inventory of a current product line you have, let's just say it was going to be like $20,000 to buy some more of that inventory. Instead of that $20,000 coming off out of your pocket for that current inventory, maybe you only take and put 10 in there and let us come in. And, and if we're investing with you, you'll, we'll put the other 10 for the current inventory. You just left 10 extra thousand in your bank. 
take that 10,000, launch those new products with it on your own, bring them up to success, then we'll go ahead and do it. Another way to do it is you could turn around and we partner with you. And as we partner and start making more and more money, you could shuffle off a little bit more money off of the profits to go ahead and launch those new products. So that, that's a couple of ways. Uh, so it's, no, we don't directly fund new products, but there is ways to do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As long as there's the base foundation of those successful products that have been running for at least three months. Yep. That's it. Show's it. done. Danny's yeah. got it. We're up. <laughs> hey, just in case, if anybody is still kind of confused on what we're talking about, try to think profit sharing and also take a look over at Accrumi. We have a really cool calculator, Danny. We got this amazing calculator that people can enter their own specific scenario. Because, I mean, we're dealing with so many variations in the Amazon world, as you know, you know, when it comes to money and finance and, and products, go over, check out the Accrumi calculator, type in the scenario that's right for you. As you're typing things in on the left-hand side, all the charts and graphs will move and you'll be able to see a quick comparison of if I'm not using a crew me versus using a crew me, what it looks like and how we can help you succeed. So, Excellent. Yeah. And I'll make sure that link is in the show notes. If you guys just send that Great. to me after the show here, yep. uh, but this has been really interesting. I've never heard of a, a funding model like this before. This has been really insightful uh, for me. Do you think there's anything else that people listening should really know about this whole model or about funding in general? Yeah. You know, so, if, if, if just one, I'll jump yeah, in first, ahead, Rob, if they're growing and want to grow, then, and, and they're profitable, then they should get capital and they should grow. If they are not so profitable, then don't do it. Cause that'll be a big mistake for everybody. But if you're already profitable and you're looking to grow, this is, there's no time, no better time than ever than right now to grow your yeah. business. So I would say just, just as I started this business, just do it. Just go out and do it. Go ahead, Rob. Yeah, I'm good. sorry. No, that's a great segue. I appreciate that. So let's go over some of the scenarios that are not fun to talk about, but we want to talk about it. We want to make sure that everybody understands the full process. Okay. So as Don said, if, if your margins are small or not too large, we're probably not the right scenario for you. We don't want to come in and hurt you. If your profit margins are too small, we'll take a look at it. We will literally tell you this is not a right fit or, hey, come back when you've uh, made your profit margin a little bigger or maybe when you got a couple new products that are doing better. Uh, we're, we're not the type that's like a bank that's going to come in and be like, hey, we don't care as long as you keep paying us every month and give us our monthly payment and our uh, you know interest. We're good. That's not the way we're that again. You need to be profitable, so we're profitable. So let's talk about that. I gave you that whole scenario at the beginning, the 100,000 with 100,000. Let's say at the end of that three months, Danny, it was only $10,000 you made on $200,000 worth of product. That's not good. I mean, that's not a great scenario. We're gonna still ask for 25% of that $10,000, but we're also maybe gonna say, hey, maybe we need to you know, take a look at this again and, and talk about it. Let's go even worse. Let's say at the end of that, $200,000, uh, 90 day scenario, you only have 180,000. We will ask for 100,000 first, and then you'll get the 80,000. So that, that is where, you know, the reward risk, you know, risk reward is, you know, we, we want you to do better. We want you to make money, but if the real scenario comes down that something happened, things just went bad and, you know, we're still going to ask for our money up front. That is how we protect ourselves. Yeah. Well, certainly makes sense. Awesome, guys. Well, this has been a great conversation. If people want to reach out to you or learn more about what you guys do, where's the best place for them to do so? I would say accrueme.com, A-C-C-R-U-E-M-E.com. And then Rob and I, you can find us on LinkedIn, uh, Rob Stanley and Donald Hennig, or you can email us directly. You know, I'm Don at accrueme.com and Rob is Rob at accrueme.com. We keep it simple, Danny. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Simple. Simple is good. And Simple's I love the whole good. model you guys have set up. So um, awesome, guys. We'll put the links to any of those resources in the show notes at KenjiROY.com slash blog. And until next time, thanks for coming on, guys. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. For show notes and resources mentioned in this episode, visit KenjiROI.com.